Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Duo. Do you guys need a management interface for your Docker containers? Well, let's get started. All right guys, so Yacht is a management interface for your Docker containers. You can manage your images, the containers, the processes and RAM utilization. You can see all of that. You can restart, stop, and do a whole bunch more with these Docker containers through Yacht. So Yacht is an awesome application and uh, we're gonna get into it now. Okay guys, so this is Yacht's website. It gives you a brief description on what it is, easy to use, focus on what matters, and compose support out of the box. We can hit the get started here. And this is a really simple setup. So you could essentially just copy this right here, paste it in, and use it for your, um, your Docker images here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. This kind of explains a little bit more about adding a template, deploying templates, and so on and so forth. But let's just get it installed. So we're gonna click on the Docker volume create yacht. We're gonna open up our SSH, which this is my Docker server. And I'm already logged in. I have Docker installed on here already. I'm going to paste in the first command, docker volume create yacht. We're gonna hit enter. So that created the volume. We are now going to copy the second line here. And this is essentially going to create the folder for config and it's gonna download the image. So we copied that, head back in here, paste it, and we can hit enter. And so now it's gonna pull the image down and once it pulls the image down, it's going to create the container for us. So let's just give this a brief minute to, to run. So the container is started now. After we run that command, it will shoot out a string, which is the container ID. We will now head up to a new tab here. We'll type in the IP address of our Docker server with the port 8000 and hit enter. And so now it brings us to the login screen. On the getting started page, it will show you the login credentials right here. So these are the initial credentials admin and pass. So I'll just type that in, hit enter, and now we're logged in. So as you can see here, I have um, a Docker server MC, which is my Minecraft server, taking about 13% and 23% of the memory. Um, this is for the, um, for the yacht container. So if we open that up, you can see self-hosted pro yacht. This is the image here. Let's head back. And then you can see I have a WireGuard um, server here as well, a Docker image. So if we come back here, let's click on the Minecraft server. We can see a little bit more detail. You can see the, the port number here. You can head over to processes, see what it's using. You can see the logs, see all the information here. And then you can go to the stats and see a little bit more information about uh, the real time and uh, history of the CPU usage. So if we come over to the left here, we can see our applications. It just gives us another drop down menu and it allows us to stop, start, re, um, kill or remove any of these containers. If we head over to templates, there's nothing here, but we can add a template. We can create a title for it. We can add the URL. Um, if we go to projects, um, we'll hit that add button. And as you can see, this is just a compose template. So you can add your Docker compose in here um, and set this template up to run um, at specific times or if you wanted to recreate a, uh, an image. So that's very cool. And then the resources here, you can see all your images, you can delete them, you can pull a new image. So if I click on this Minecraft server here and click on pull, it will start to pull down a new image. So the green bar at the top is just showing us that it is downloading. We'll come back and check that in just a moment. The volumes, we only have the yacht volume there. Networks, we only have really our one bridge network that we're really use, that we're using. And then of course you have your settings here. So if you wanted to change your themes, um, template variations, and uh, you can update it as well from here. So the first thing you wanna do of course is change your user account. We will change the password. And you can also change the email address associated, but I'll just leave it the same. 
And let me retype this in. Oh, change. There we go. And now if I had two images again, you can see that the new image is here and it is unused at the moment. All right, guys, well, that's it for today's video. Hopefully this was helpful for you. This is a neat tool that I was able to find that um, I find very useful for myself. So if this was uh, helpful, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe. That really does help us a lot um, and take care, guys.